Okay, this is the mesh grill we do for the Range Rover Sport 2010. So it goes in this aperture here above the number plate. We've removed the number plate here and we'll show you how to fit this. Uh, but basically, one of the reasons for fitting this is a couple of reasons. One is cosmetic, it, it looks sort of a Bentley style mesh grill, which is quite cool. Um, but the second problem you, you get is you, you can fit your hand through here. And this customer here, unfortunately, has had a stone come through his brand new Range Rover Sport and it's, it's pierced a hole here through the aircon condenser, so it's leaked out all the gas. Um, and that's not covered under warranty. So this should give you uh, some protection, certainly from bigger stones going through. Okay, so that's the product. Um, right, first thing you need to do is remove this front number plate plinth, which is held on with three self-tapping screws here. Now when you get your mesh grill, um, it's got these rubber coated tabs here which are made from stainless steel and you can bend and they actually come flat. Now what you've got to do is you've got to bend up the tabs, okay? Now the rough dimensions for the top tab from the grill to the bend point is 95 millimeters, okay? And if you put your pliers on there and bend that up, okay, and that will form the hook. Now on the top of the grill is 95, on these bottom tabs the bend point is at 90 millimeters. Okay, now try to try or fit the grill to make sure it, it fits nicely. On this one we've just had to just make sure it's curved the right amount before we fit it. Um, and that's fine, we've done that. Okay, and then what you do is you push this in here. Okay, and when you push it into place, you then just need to bend the tabs down. Now what we've done here is we've just made up a little tool here which is just a bit of rod with a bend and what we've got to do is look through inside here and basically push this grill back into place and then hook the hook round behind the edge of the bumper. We've got to do that obviously on the front and on the top okay so both those tabs now should be fully located down in place okay and then we do the same on the other side okay that back into play. Put your tool through the okay, and then on the top one also. Okay, and there we go. That's the grill on there. And then it's just a question of refitting the number plate plinth, which I'll do quickly so you can see how it all looks when it's on. Yeah, that's the mesh grill fitted.